James chapter number one, verses two through four. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. For a few moments, I want to talk to you from the subject, we shall overcome because we are overcomers. We shall overcome because we are overcomers. I want us to know on today that in this life, there will be difficulties, but we are overcomers. In this life, there are gonna be many situations that we cannot control. But we are overcomers. There are going to be trouble, heartache, and there is going to be pain. But if we have faith in God, we have confidence in knowing that we are overcomers. And with us understanding that there is going to be trouble, there is a way that we need to respond when trouble comes our way. In the midst of adversity, we don't need to fear. But in the midst of adversity, we need to begin to stand on our faith. Faith that God is who he says he is and he can do what he said he's gonna do. Psalms 30, verse 5, tells us that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. See, we understand that joy comes in the morning because we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. I want us to understand that life is not fair, but in Christ, we got the victory. There's going to be struggle, but in Christ, we already got the victory. Difficulty is going to come. But my brothers and my sisters, we already got the victory. And because we already got the victory, we can walk around victoriously in the midst of hard times. Understand that we all face trouble. We all have struggles each and every day. But we must understand that God never told us that the road was going to be easy. He never said that because we were children of God, that life would be pain free. There's going to be pain. There's going to be struggle. There is going to be difficulties. But it is how we respond to difficulties that counts. Understand that there's a purpose in trying times. See, if I could be honest with you on today, we would not grow very much if every day was free from difficulty. There would be minimal development in 
our lives if there were no struggles that we had to face. We wouldn't be the people that we are on today if hard times had not pushed us to the limits. But see, when we look at this text or today, James has something to tell us about patience. See, there needs to be patience in the midst of crisis. There needs to be patience in the midst of hard times. There needs to be patience in the midst of difficulty. But see, when James talks about patience, what he's talking about is bearing suffering calmly without complaint. If we have our faith in Jesus, if we build our hopes on things eternal, we can bear the suffering calmly because our trust is in God. Our faith is in God. We stand firm on the solid rock. We see in the text, in this text, patience is described as being content as we endure what God wants us to go through. See, sometimes when we're going through, we can become impatient. And when we become impatient, we begin to cut corners. And when we cut corners, we miss out on what God has for us. The reason we tend to cut corners is because we have what I call a carnal consumer mindset. A carnal consumer mindset says I want it now and I want it fast. And if I don't get what I want, when I want, how I want, and from who I want, I will simply find another source. We have what I call the Burger King mentality. This simply says that I want it my way. I'm not concerned about what God wants. I want what I want. Joy, I want it my way. Peace, I want it my way. Love, I want it my way. Salvation, I want it my way. Church, I want it my way. My relationship with God, I want it my way. But see, has it ever, has it ever crossed our minds that our way may just simply be wrong? That our way might simply be inadequate. But see, I'm going to say this, having things our way and not God's way has become a motto of a sinful church. And our way of life can be disconnected from God. And when the church is disconnected from God, it sends society into chaos. We like focus on God at times. We lack patience sometimes in the midst of our process. Sometimes we lack the desire to endure suffering for the sake of the gospel. See, we lack because we have failed to plan. We lack because we have failed to pray. We lack because our preparation is poor. We lack 
because we fail to walk in the will and the way of God. We lack because we simply don't take God seriously. And when we don't take God seriously, I call that purposefully lacking. And when we purposefully lack, when trouble comes, we then don't know how to react. When we don't have God as our focus, we tend to respond in our old character and not the godly character that God wants us to have. But see, we have to, we have to understand that every problem that we face tests our genuineness to God. It grows our faith. But we can see if we are genuine or not in the midst of the test. The testing is designed to make us stronger and to make us more consistent in God. The experience of having our faith tested produces steadfastness in the life of the believer. And through persistent steadfastness, we grow to full maturity. With that said, on today, how do we stand as overcomers in the midst of a situation we feel we can't overcome. Number one, understand life won't always be easy. Number two, know that there is a purpose for your process. Number three, it is foolish to fear. Number four, you can consistently count on Christ. So I want you to understand on today when we endure hard times that no matter what comes down our street, we are overcomers because we have God on our side. So I want you to know that you can always count on God. We will go through tough times, but we can count on God. The process, it will always not be easy. We can count on God. Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus wants us to lean on him in the midst of every circumstance. So in the midst of uncertainty, depend on Jesus. In the midst of our isolation, depend on Jesus. When circumstances have you down? Depend on Jesus. When the going gets rough, simply depend on Jesus. When you can't fix the problem, depend on Jesus. When the situation is uncertain, always depend on Jesus. I need you on today to forget those things that are behind you and focus on what God has in front of you. Because we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. The songwriter says, by and by, when the morning comes, when the saints of God are gathered home, we'll tell the story of how we've overcome and we'll understand it better. By and by, in the midst of the crisis, in God, we'll understand it better. Persecution, we will understand it better. The pain we feel, 
we will understand it better. The hardships we go through, we will understand it better. The loneliness we feel, we will understand it better. The hopelessness that we see, we will understand it better. The tribulations that we endure, we will understand it better. The discomfort that we feel, we will understand it better. When we are anxious, we will understand it better. The separation from one another, we will understand it better. The storm that we are going through, we will understand it better by and by. The songwriter says, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome something deep in my heart. I do believe that we shall overcome. And we shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb. So, if you're going to overcome, simply because you are an overcomer, you have to understand life won't be easy. Understand, life's trials have purpose. Understand, you don't have to fear. And last but not least, understand that you can always count on God. 